These new updates from Shopify could be absolutely game changing. What's popping, people? It's your boy, the Beast of Ecom, and I am back with another video dropping nothing but you already know value bombs. 24 hours ago, Shopify announced over 100 new updates that are coming to the platform. Some of these updates could be absolutely game changing if you run an e commerce store or if you're dropshipping. So, in this video, I'm going to go over the most important updates that are going to have the biggest effect or potential impact that's going to help you either make more money or save you more time. Now, before I do that, if this is the first time ever watching one of my videos, make sure of course you drop a like on this video. It helps out the channel and gives the algorithm some love and drop a comment down below and let me know which of these features you are most excited for. Make sure of course you subscribe to the channel with a notification bell on. I drop weekly videos showing you how you can make more money with your e-commerce and drop shipping stores using Facebook, TikTok ads and all of that good stuff. So less than 24 hours ago, Shopify put out this tweet which says uh, they've got 100 new products and updates coming towards Shopify platform. And this is called, uh, they're calling it, branding it as Shopify Editions. And uh, here are pretty much all of the updates um, and they're in different categories. So from find customers, convert shoppers, create your story, build relationships, run your business and scale and build. Now, not all of these are gonna be relevant or impactful to you know everyone watching this channel because some of them are for like developers and uh, some of them for people who are on Shopify Plus. But I'm gonna pick out the most important ones that I think are gonna have the biggest impact or that you should be excited about. And uh, this is the first one called Shopify Audiences. So Shopify Audiences is going to help essentially with acquiring new customers at the top of the funnel. So uh, we know about lookalike audiences and this is kind of like the similar thing. So what's going to happen is Shopify are going to allow you to create lists uh, and those lists are gonna be based on the kind of data that Shopify have from other merchants of people who are interested or likely to buy products uh, which are similar to your own. And I'm just gonna play this video just so you can get an understanding of how it all works. Introducing Shopify Audiences, a new way to find and target high intent buyers on advertising platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Shopify Audiences is a prospecting tool that works to enhance your top of funnel advertising campaigns to find your next best customer at a lower cost. Shopify Audiences is available to Shopify Plus store owners who use Shopify payments, which unlocks access to buyers who shop regularly at stores like your own. Using a powerful machine learning algorithm, Shopify Audiences leverages data from Shopify's merchants. The algorithm matches buyer intent with the unique attributes of your store's products to generate better return on your digital ad spend. Audiences are created using lists of authorized email addresses from recent buyers. Before using audiences, you should ensure that you make the appropriate disclosures in your privacy policy. No merchant can download a list of the hashed emails exported from Shopify to target a competitor's list of customers. Improvements to the algorithm will continue to roll out over time. We recommend making Shopify audiences a part of your continuous top of funnel customer prospecting strategy. If you're excited to find new customers using Shopify audiences, create an audience and get started today. Now, initially, I think this is only going to be for people who are on a Shopify Plus. Uh, the Shopify Plus is 2K per month. So for 90% of people watching this, it may not be applicable to them. Um, whether they're gonna roll it out with an app with an extensive uh, additional cost, I'm not sure. But nevertheless, it's still powerful feature that's going to be implemented into the Shopify platform. The next one is ShopCash. And this is essentially like a loyalty program that's coming into uh, people who use Shop app. So, you know, when you install Shopify payments, you can select Shop app as well. And Shop app is, um, it will come up at your checkout when people have like, you know, like Apple Pay, um, Shop app, and then it has like, you know, PayPal uh, at the bottom as well. And if people are using the, uh, the Shop app, what's going to happen is over time, they can build up these uh, rewards essentially to spend on other uh, stores. So this one here is really going to help improve, you know, returning customer retention and also LTV as well. I'm not gonna go into these two too much detail, but essentially Twitter shopping is one that is very, very good. So essentially now you're going to be able to have a shop on your Twitter profile. So a lot of brands who are active on Twitter are going to be able to get customers to shop a hell of a lot more easier on Twitter as well. 
Now, this is also going to be good for those who may be on the money Twitter side of things or fitness Twitter or whatever it may be to actually sell info products such as, you know, eBooks, courses and those kind of things. If you have a Shopify store, then people are going to be able to just literally go on your profile. Uh, you'll be able to run promotions and those kind of things on your Twitter profile as well, which is also a, uh, a great uh, addition to the Shopify platform. On to the second section. Now, some of these are not applicable to uh, you guys because I know a lot of people who watch this channel are D2C, so direct to consumer, you sell directly to the customers. However, Shopify have now built in a B2B um, section on Shopify. So for those who are selling business to business, whether you have a, you know, or you want to implement some sort of wholesale into your business, depending on the products that you are selling, if you're selling to wholesalers or to retails, this uh, business uh, to business on Shopify, this integration that's going to come live is going to make things a hell of a lot more easier if you are doing those kind of things. So I'm assuming you're going to get preferential rates in terms of, you know, setting um, prices, as it says, custom prices for wholesale buyers. So if a customer's buying more stuff, you can set a certain price for those guys. They can have separate logins and all those kind of things as well. So if you are selling business to business or you have that part as your business, this is gonna be very, very beneficial. Now I've already done a video covering everything you should need to know about Shopify markets. And um, I'll leave the link to that in the, one of the top hand corners, but essentially it just helps you sell uh, worldwide with you know custom local payments, uh, custom languages, custom currencies, and those kind of things as well. So uh, if you want to go check out that video again, I'm not going to cover it in this video extensively. I'll leave the link in the top right hand uh, in one of the top corners. Now these are two updates that are going to help with conversion rate optimization and helping improving your conversion rate. However, there's kind of like a, a stipulation to them, of course. So you know, Shopify checkout, this is using Shop Pay. So, you know, let me just play this video. You can see that if you are using Shopify payments, that's the condition, you know, you can't really get, I don't think you can get Shop Pay um, if you are not integrated with Shopify payments. For example, if you're using Stripe uh, or any other kind of like, you know, third party processor. But essentially ShopPay has like a, a one page checkout, which apparently uh, converts at 11% better than any other uh, any other wallet. Now that's all well and great. And again, on here, on this right hand side, check out extensibility. Um, people are gonna be able to, uh, if you're on a Shopify Plus, so again, it's not gonna be relevant to 90% of people watching this video, uh, you're now going to be able to use apps and get a little bit more flexibility of customizing your checkout um, if you're using, um, you know, the shop app as well. You can see it here in action, essentially how it works. Now, this is great. Uh, one click checkout can improve your conversion rate, but I would just really, really wish if anyone at Shopify is watching this, please just give everyone the option to have uh, a default one page checkout, you know, whether they be able to switch between the third, you know, the three step, the usual three step that you will see, and then just a one page checkout. I think everyone, I speak on behalf of everyone, they would absolutely love to have that as an option. Unfortunately, um, you know, Shopify force you into paying 2K per month if you want to make any changes to your checkout, uh, which is unfortunate, but hey, maybe one day they will roll it out to everyone and make it much more accessible. Another big one that is going to help with a lot of people watching this is is discount combinations. So now, now you can finally, finally have your customers combined different discounts. So previously before, people could only add one discount at the checkout, which would mean, you know, if you're running multiple promotions, free shipping, you know, 10% off and all those kind of things, then they could they only had to literally just pick one or the other. Whereas now you're gonna be able to give your customers the options to be able to add those together. So that's really gonna help, especially in the festive periods, in the, you know, the Q4 periods, and especially around any special events as well, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, and those kind of things is going to help, um, especially with email campaigns as well. And those kind of things, it's going to help boost your uh, your sales using these discount combinations. So very, very much looking forward to this uh, implementation. So onto the third section, which is create your story. Now I'm going to go over some of these. Uh, some of them aren't applicable uh, or going to be very much, you know, of benefit to a lot of people. This is like for development, hydrogen and oxygen. Never personally heard of it, except for stuff on the element table. Um, but this one down here, uh, token gated uh, commerce is very important. As you know, of course, we are moving into Web3, whereby people can essentially connect their crypto wallets to, uh, you know, multiple different stores and make purchases and get exclusive ac access to certain things using NFTs. And this is gonna be a, a way for Shopify stores to be able to implement that into their stores as well. 
and uh, they did recently uh, collab with uh, Doodles. So if I scroll up, I think it's just somewhere here. You can see here they um, collabed with Doodles to come up with uh, with the shop, and they've got something going on uh, here. So let me just click play so that you can see and understand exactly what this is. Invite your community into a world that recognizes and rewards loyalty. Token holders connect a crypto wallet to unlock exclusive shopping experiences. From early access to drops and limited collections to one-of-a-kind experiences and other surprises. Start token gating on your Shopify store and unlock the power of your brand's community. So I'm very excited with this and the whole push for Web3 because this is going to allow a lot of NFT and crypto projects to bring about real world utility to their projects, such as, you know, being able to give their NFT holders access to specific merch or, or exclusive collections, which no one else can, while still driving revenue through their um, through their you know their project, which is uh, fantastic to see being implemented. These two updates are also great for a lot of people. Um, so they've actually brought out eight new free themes, eight being some of them are already out, such as Sense and those kind of things, and, and ten new premium themes as well. And these themes are excellent. So now essentially they all use the OS two, which means it's a lot more easier to build and construct um, stores in sections. So you get more flexibility in terms of uh, customizing your product pages without needing in a developer and um, some of them look absolutely fantastic again these are all free and you know you don't need the developer to make them look good and also some of the paid themes this is a paid one and this is you know I, I saw it this morning and it's absolutely fire and you know something like this um, you know if you were to get a developer to build something like this you're probably gonna look about a couple of um, a couple of thousands depending on you know how much you actually want doing to it but this theme i think it was only 300 dollars, so uh could be worth the money and could be worth checking out as well so the fourth section is build relations now i'm not going to go over this first one because again it's not going to be applicable to 90 percent of people who are actually watching uh my videos but the next one is uh customer engagement tools so if you're not familiar then shopify actually have has its own email marketing automations so you know whereas clavio is kind of like the biggest one and the most trusted one that people use um, I think Shopify are kind of moving into this platform of, of you know, building something of their own. And, uh, you know, you can build out flows, marketing automations and those kind of things. And also, I believe that you actually get, I think it's 10,000 emails free. Um, whereas I think with Klaviyo, the lowest option is, I think it's $20 for the lowest option and you only get 5,000 off the top of my head. So they are trying to move into that space as well. I'll just click this video just so you can see what it is and how it essentially works. You can find greeting cards in any convenience store, so I knew I really needed a marketing strategy that helped me stand out. Shopify helps me make every shopping experience unique, just like my cards. There are no added costs and it doesn't require a degree in marketing, which is great because I have one in accounting, so I need all the help that I can get. I'm Bianca, the founder of Queen Bee Cards. I make custom cards that are thoughtful for everyday and special events. I love how easy it is to use Shopify's customer engagement tools to make my marketing personal and to connect with my customers. One of my favorite campaigns I ran was for Mother's Day. It was intuitive, powerful, and took me less than a day to build, and the outcomes were incredible. Shopify's email templates make things really easy. I just add my brand and they're ready to go. And with marketing automations, I can just turn on the workflow with a few clicks and never worry about it again. I find that emails that highlight customer cities perform better, and Shopify's segmentation builder helped me find my niche of customers, personalize my message, and the best part was that it was all included. Another way that I bring my brand to life is chatting using Shopify inbox. So it helps me communicate with my customers in real time and create a one-on-one -on -one field that really builds trust. It even tells me if they have anything in their cart and guiding customers through their purchase leads to a much higher conversion rate for my cards. Shopify makes it easy to build campaigns that get the right message to the right customer at the right time, which really helps me grow my brand. With Shopify, marketing is personal, just like my cards. Now the fifth and final section is run your business. And if I'm being perfectly honest, 
uh, most of these won't be applicable or, or really have a, a massive impact from, for 90% of people actually watching the video. So I'll, I'll run through them really quickly, but we've got, you know, admin enhancements, which is just basically, you know, updates and refreshes and redesign to the actual platform. We have Shopify Fulfillment Network, which is essentially, um, you know, Amazon uh, Fulfillment by Amazon's Shopify version, essentially, if you want to use their fulfillment. Most people are probably drop shipping if you're watching this, so not going to be applicable. Um, again, shop promise and order inventory management. We have uh, shipping goes global, etc. We've got the Shopify flow. Um, we also have uh, the final section, which is scale and build. And again, like I mentioned, not really going to be applicable for a lot of people. Shopify fun functions, you know, data protection, Shopify balance, Shopify capital, etc., etc., and uh, the Planet app. If you are a you know uh, a conscious brand, carbon neutral conscious brand, um, it's going to help you. Uh, you know, show how much you've kind of been saving or helping save the environment. So hopefully you got some value from this video and are now all up to date with what exactly is going on in the Shopify ecosystem. Drop a comment down below and let me know which of these updates you are most excited for. If you like free stuff, make sure of course you grab a copy of my 100% free dropshipping ebook. The link for that will be down below. It doesn't cost an absolute thing. Just go click the link below and you'll grab yourself a copy. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter and we can try and connect on there. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you got some value. Take care and I will see you in the next one.